Welcome to Not Factory Approved. Today's adventure is another episode of how to be cheap or how to spin your wheels. In balance, of course. Stay tuned. I made this round piece to replace the coffee can because I think the coffee can is flexing a bit. Even though it's kind of surprising, but in the middle it flexes up and down and then kind of tends to twist off to one side or the other. So I made this, measured it with the coffee can, cut it out, ground off the edges, and that's about as round as I can make it. Got a little slight bump here. I'll take that off, but that's it's in the middle of the wheel, and it's going to be grams of metal, so I don't it's going to do much, but I'll make it as round as I can. Revision 2. So I'm going to have to get a smaller RV bubble level. This one fits, it touches the slopes in the rim so it's hard to get it in the exact right spot. Took the round piece of steel and so you can sight it through the lug holes and make sure it's exactly even so centered perfectly. Then I centered these holes equidistant, put this U-bolt on so it's new so it's got a nice smooth surface inside not like the other one and likewise this turn buckle put a little grease on them so it should be self-centering, slide enough to get in the middle, and then you can check the rim. Now this is showing that it's light that way, which is to do with this level, because it's uh, where you place it completely changes how it looks, where it's pointing. Right now it's pointing over here. Now it's pointing over here. So I have to straighten that out yet. I have to check this when I actually have the tire and the tube on it because that will upset the balance. The tube has a valve which is fairly uh, fairly heavy as far as tire balancing goes. And then uh, 65 Ford on YouTube says to put the sticky weights, use only sticky weights inside the rim, which I think is probably a good idea. Otherwise you get the dynamic balance side to side is out. So I've been playing around with this homemade bubble level for a while and I saw on YouTube someone smarter than me figured out that you don't need a pinpoint it actually works really well if you have a ball bearing. So he was using one that was an inch and a half and I'll show you what site that was on. But uh, this one is about three quarters of an inch. Seems to work quite well. This stand is one I made for blacksmithing. It actually takes a blacksmith vise, which goes, mounts on the three bolts, and it goes down to the pin, down the bottom. It works well. I do have bolt holes down the bottom for leveling it, but I don't have the proper feet, so I don't want to put just bolts in because hammering on it is going to break up the cement. So, for now, I'm just using wood wedges to level it off. I've checked it with a carpentry level and it's good and this RV level shows it as being actually good. I don't know if you can see that or not. The shadow is a bit confusing. Let's see if I can block the light. Might be more obvious. Anyway, it's showing it in the middle. If I can get it that close, it's definitely level and balanced. So here's the setup I'm using. I've got this three quarter inch ball bearing, an RV bubble level. I've leveled off with a belt sander this piece of metal, smoothed it out. It's still got little scratches in it though, so I found that if I put a little bit of grease, in this case I've got silicone grease, under the ball bearing, then this plate will rest on top of it. I actually should have a dome that centers the wheel. I'll show you how I do it. So I've just got this bit of Teflon here, but you don't need that. That was from my previous experiment, but it does still stay there. So what I did was drilled a hole in the center, put a bolt through there, put it in the drill press, spun it around, and I marked these rings. So those rings are perfect circles, and they're equidistant from the center hole. So that sits like that. Then I put the tire on it 
and I'll show you how I line it up so it's centered. So to line it up, the first thing I do is visually from above, I center the rings, and then I move it a quarter turn at a time by keeping it level, and then check the gap, and then I do fine adjustments that way. And I'm pretty confident it's centered. I'll show you. Here's the rings, you can see. It's about a sixteenth of an inch gap. Looking up above, keep your constant position standing. Bubble level, close to centered as possible. Turn a quarter turn. Check again, a little bit off. Likewise, it's got to come that way a bit. If you don't have it level, it's very easy to get confused. Okay, so I'll just center that, and then I'll show you how I balance it. And now you can see it's sitting off to one side, falling down on the balance. So this is my adjusting tool, just in the bolt holes, and I can just adjust it very finely just by twisting. So I think it's perfectly centered now, and now to start balancing. These four screws that I've got holding the plate on, they're all exactly the same length. So I put the RV bubble on top of that. So I find initially, I just have to get the right, get it close. It's still light over here. Put it roughly in the middle and let go and see what happens. So a little bit light here. Take a single quarter ounce. Initially I just try and get it close and then I will spin it and it will show me exactly how close it is. Getting a lot closer. So at this point, I just take it, center it, spin it slowly. And I can add weight as it spins. Hopefully you can see that it's pretty close to center. The bubble is staying off center consistently, it's pointing it to being light. So I'll move the weights a bit and try it again. As long as it's spinning, it will tend to center. So it will show exactly what the balance point is. And there's less effect of friction or uh, bumps or any kind of imperfection on the plate. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, or even notify, or any of the above, or all of the above. Thank you.